From time to time when I'm using my iPad, I feel that I'm using more than just the tablet. It seems to be a device that allows me to uh, allow entertainment, uh, work, productivity, uh, as well as improving my everyday life through different apps and notifications. But what would the iPad be itself without the operating system? What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here. And today we're gonna be looking at the new update for iOS 12.3 on the iPad Pro 11. Let's jump into it. So for this update, we're not gonna go too deep. Um, there are a few fixes that happen. There are a few upgrades that happen. We're gonna talk about some of those. And the best way to do this is we're gonna jump directly into the screen. So I'm gonna actually record this on the screen record so you can see every step that I'm gonna be taking the whole time I'm taking it. Let's go. As I mentioned, iOS 12.3, if we can look at the system, if you see it right here, uh, top right hand corner, we're looking at iOS 12.3, and this is the iPad Pro 11 inch. Now, this is not a huge update, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to the home screen, and I'm just gonna show you some of the things that were able to come through with this new build. So first thing we're gonna talk about is the Apple TV app. Now, we get a new Apple TV app right here. And with this Apple TV app now, it's gonna be a little more clean. Um, it's gonna actually pick up where you left off in a movie. So if you were watching, as I was watching Transformers, right here and then Avengers Infinity War, it allows you to continue. If you notice, it has that at the bottom of those movies and it picks up actually where I left off in the movie. Not to mention in here now, you're gonna be able to have Siri suggestions. So you'll be able to get Siri suggestions for different movies, different things, as well as intelligent suggestions. And then we have this brand new kids section. So in the kids section, you're gonna be able to scroll through that and your kids will be able to kind of watch whatever they wanna watch. A lot of security features that are gonna be fixed, such as Safari, uh, webmail, webcams, all those things have bug updates. They're about 24 to 30 in all. And then you're going to be able to actually change your settings in news. So there is a section in the news app now, not to just subscribe, but you can actually follow a certain magazine if you want to. So yeah guys, now you'll be able to actually just go in and follow a magazine by clicking on this heart. You can, let's do, there we go, following and not just subscribe. So you'll actually get updates when these magazines come out or when they're updated. And uh, next we're gonna talk about Apple Music a little bit because Apple Music is going to actually give you suggestions now. Based on what you listen to, they'll give you separate su suggestions. And when you click on For You, it'll basically just pull up those suggestions and it'll kind of let you know what is available for the things that you've built in and the things that you've set up. Apple TV remote received a small upgrade. So if you're using that, you get a slight upgrade, you'll be able to choose a TV, which we could do before, but now you have more options in here once you actually have that connected to your Apple TV. So all in all, this has been a pretty decent upgrade. It's not that huge, it's not one of those big ones, but there are a lot of little subtle things that are gonna help you. So there we go guys, a quick exploration of iOS 12.3. Hope this is able to shed a little light on it. If you had questions about it, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them below, um, but I hope this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.